guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got Evolution X ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Evolution X ROM, it's a relatively new ROM for the OnePlus 3. I personally have not seen this anywhere else, but I do believe that it is available for other MIUI ROMs also. Pretty cool. So uh, let's get started now. First of all, what you would see here is that the ROM does have a uh, ambient display sensor, but it doesn't have pickup or hand wave motion, which is unfortunate, but it's what it is. Let's get started now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen. The lock screen, you can see that this is a very different thing, which I will get into. The launcher is the Google Pixel launcher. So it's a no frills launcher, which does have a few options here. Let's go to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see that it is on android 9.0 evolution x is the version june 5 security patches and uh, not yet based on july well july security patch just came out yesterday the kernel version is 3.18.120 which is the latest version of kernel available so that's pretty cool so that is pretty much it in the about phone page in using this rom i have to say that i am pretty much reminded of Colt os because Colt os and this rom is seems very much similar this one has a lot of features to it it's a great stable rom and and it does have an adequate battery life. Let's get started. First of all, everything is working. I have disabled my SIM 2 card, which is the VLT. VLT is working, so just keeping that in mind. Apart from that, almost all the extras, uh, extra options are inside the Evolution X function. Let's get that. In the status bar option, you do have disabled expanded status bar on option. You can do that. Clock and date style can be customized, which is available. Traffic indicator is available, which is really nice. And it does have the uh, placement of the traffic indicator also, which I like a lot. You can have that on the status bar or on the expanded header also, which does work out. Carry label options are available, framework settings are available for if you want a curve on the screen, you can have that. System icon options are available where you can enable or disable that. Show 4G instead of LTE and also VLG icon can also be enabled or disabled. ROM indicators are available, Evolution 2.0. Your logo can be enabled, custom logo can also be customized which is cool. These are customization which is available, not available with a lot of other ROMs so it does make it for unique in that. Battery icon style can be customized, right now I have enabled Q style, it does have big doted text, you have all of these options are available. Q style does seem to be a really cool feature you can have the icon a percentage inside the icon outside the icon also which does work out now in the quick setting panel you do have options for bluetooth battery styles you can enable that on the status bar quick pull down is available vibrate on touch is available qs styles are available which is pretty cool as you can see i have used this one which does work i mean it, it looks pretty cool you have a lot of options also round rectangle is available there is a lot you can customize this option with i can't even begin to see what people are gonna do with it use default colors are available if you want to use custom colors from the theme so you can do that quick setting icon can be enabled or disabled running service icon is also available if you want to have that which is pretty cool and all these options are available animations options are available for the quick setting tile brightness style tweaks are available it can be on top bottom the adaptive brightness icon can be on the left right all of that is available which you can customize and the button option you do have hardware key uh, button options one thing which i did notice is when you, if you go into backlight option it gives you another button option which i mean there are options here but none of these really change anything that is something there but it does have backlight options if you want to customize that apart from that in the hardware key options you do have back button home button and recent button which can be customized any of these options which does work out one thing again which i want to mention is that there is no swapping of the button uh, layout so you will have to do it the dirty way where you click on the back button single tap action and choose recents not the most elegant way to do it but it is something which you can do and it does work the long press power button for torch is available and with automatic turn off which i'm really happy about Control playback, keyboard cursor control is available, and also volume panel customization. Volume steps can be customized. I does have the expanded um, slider layout for ringtone volume, so it does work out. Nav bar options are available if you want to use a nav bar. Uh, nav bar does have an inverter layout for some reason, which uh, I mean I would have I would have liked to have the hardware button also have that option, but it's not. One handed mode can also be enabled from here by sliding across the nav bar. Nav bar gestures can be enabled if you are someone who uses that on a OnePlus 3. Weirdo. Navigation bar options are available. You have smart bar fling bar and all the options can be customized from here the gesture options it does have asb gestures so you can double tap on the power button for camera even ringing and swipe up for screenshot is available it works now bright wrist control and double tap on the status bar is available which is pretty cool lock screen options are available where you have lock screen shortcut you can enable that you can just disable that also ambient music ticker is available it is not tracker it's sticker so just keep that in mind media cover out can be enabled media cover out filter can be enabled or disabled status bar options are available you can disable status bar if you don't want it clock widgets can be customized 
Xbox style can be customized, which is pretty cool. One thing which I did notice is it has a lot of bootleggers ROM options, which is a Shizu fight, bootleg logo can be enabled and all that. Probably taking those sources. One thing which I'm really happy about is that the date style can also be customized, which is pretty interesting. So you have a semi-transparent box. So in that you have this one. You have a lot of options there also, which is not something I have seen a lot with other ROMs either. So that's pretty cool. So you can customize that in a lot of ways. Font option can also be customized from there. So it does have a lot of features, I believe, from MSM Extended, which is pretty cool. Visualization can be enabled or disabled for your content. How many options are available? You can enable advanced restart from here. All of these options are available and it also has the on the go mode with the alpha customization. Alpha customization, you do need to keep in mind that if the alpha is all the way to zero or all the way to 100, I don't remember which one. Do keep in mind, if you turn it on, you will have to restart to get it back working. The notification option, you do have a heads up option. You have timeout, snooze timer and also you have kill app button on the status bar which is working really well make heads up less annoying is available but it doesn't have the ticker option i would like to have that option along with this one which would make it really useful and the miscellaneous option you do have wake up or plug usb configuration can be enabled for automatic one sensor block per package is available to save a little bit more battery life dash bar options are available and also time instead and dose settings are available if you know what you're doing that is it in the evolution x options now other than that in the display option let's uh, uh, start with it you do have the live display you do have options for customizing the color profile i like dynamic it works really well uh, reading mode is available i'm not really sure why this cannot be disabled uh it's there device theming option is available if you want to use that i normally keep it at dark and also dark theme style can be customized if you want black or if you want the default one which is a gray option accent color are customizable it does have a few options here not the most customizations available but still it does work out system funds are available if you want to customize that and there are a lot of funds uh, i'm actually using samsung one but there is all sorts of fun if you want oswald if you want the roboto condens all of them are available and you can just go to tap with it it does work out really well apart from that front end display size enabler uh ambient display options are available as i've already said it does have new notification and always show when charging and also always on but it doesn't have pocket mode and all that sensors which i'm not really sure why it is not there pocket detection is available double tap to sleep can be enabled and also extended stuff is available if you want to customize that something which i do want to mention is that i am on an encrypted device it works on encrypted devices if you have any questions with that the device extra options you do have the slider options and it comes with uh the awesome if you want to use flashlight for the alert slider, you can use it and it does work out reasonably well. All the other options are also working. It does come with a spectrum profile. I've kept it in balance. If you want to try it out, you can. It should improve slightly, but not much difference is going to be there in my opinion. Uh, the screen of gestures are also available, which is pretty cool. I don't really use that though. In the system options, there is a system updater also, which is interesting. Now, I have not received a system update. I have not done a system update, so I can't really comment on that. From what I understand, it is going to be a straight up updater which just downloads and flashes it automatically. Don't hold me to that. I will be looking into it because if it has a system updater, this is probably going to be one of my top ROMs which I recommend to people because I want system updates to work on this phone now because OnePlus is not going to get, give more updates to this. So a custom ROM with OT updater is essential in my book. And that is it in the extra features on this ROM. As you can see, there are a lot of features. It works really well. It has a lot of features to work around with and I'm really impressed with it. There is no way I can say that this is a new ROM just budding out. It is a fully flushed out ROM. Now the battery life of the ROM. The battery life of the ROM is also pretty decent. Um, I've been getting about 1.3, 1.5% 1 of idle drain. Active drain is somewhere between 13 to 14% which is fine for a ROM of this caliber with so many options. In hindsight, I would say it works really well. Screen on time of 5 hours is not unheard of, it will work decently well for that. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM is pretty decent, I'm getting about 160,000 which is normal part of the course for this ROM. I tried gaming on it, right smack in the middle, it's just the same, so yeah, nothing much different there. Now the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is also pretty damn good. I have to say that it didn't give any stability issues, I didn't find it to be extremely stable either. It is pretty stable for a Pi ROM on a OnePlus 3 which is like 3 years old. It has three years of development behind it. It works as it should. Now the camera. It comes with snap camera or the lineage camera application which works, takes decent photographs. I like the lineage for the, uh, camera a lot. It has given me one of few of the best 
pictures I have gotten with this phone. I'm pretty happy with it. It does have a few options here. Auto HDR is available, Dino is all of these options can be customized. Just like it. You can also use Gcam if you want a little bit crisper photographs, a little bit more post-processed one. It is available, but I don't err on that side anymore. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. The aesthetics of the ROM is pretty damn good. It does have a few options. It does have a lot more options than other ROMs available and a lot less than a few other ROMs available. If you know what I mean. I mean, there are ROMs available which have almost the same options there just packaged in almost a similar way i would have really liked to have a few more aesthetic or accent choices because that is something which i really like but all in all it is pretty doable for a themable rom uh, one more thing is that uh, if you know this options i mean the uh, animations for activities is quick q style if you want to use that it is available now the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom is pretty good i don't think i have many complaints about this rom it works it is it works and the time tagline for this ROM is basically uh, pixel features with additional features so the boot animation is pixel the cam the phone app is pixel everything is pixel uh, it's basically a pixel replication ROM or replicant ROM which works decently well for most features and it has a few styling cues taken from maybe bootleggers or cold OS I mean a lot of ROMs are available which can do that it's pretty cool now I'm not gonna show the boot animation because well boot animation is basically Google boot animation with a G and a line not very interesting anymore because that we have seen that about a thousand times now so guys that is it about the evolution x rom on the one plus three it's a feature rich rom but i do want to say that it does kind of lose its magic when all the other roms are also really feature rich yeah just throwing it out there i guess i'm just about the video then hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you want to useful see you guys next time bye